This is your season of grace with your host, Patrick Henry Eddett. Get ready for Grace Revolution. Today I'm going to share with you conditions for rest. Let's go to Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11 from verse 27. You can let's read from verse 25 to make it beautiful to get the context a little bit larger. Put it on the screen from verse 25. Matthew chapter 11 from verse 25. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things. Luke gives, presents this, this scripture in a different way talks about that time just began to rejoice in the holy spirit it was filled with the holy spirit and rejoice so it's like an outburst of um, of joy in the holy spirit that's what luke reports but let's stay here at that time jesus said i praise you father lord of heaven and earth because you have hidden you have hidden there are things that god intentionally hides and be careful know that there are things that are hidden from you god permits there are certain things you know you don't know them god is merciful god loves you but god hides certain things the glory of the king is in hiding things keeping secret then you have to search it out seek when the scripture says seek and ye shall find it is a law of life there are things that you can never find until you seek that is why moments like this you you can you can place your fingers on the pulse the pulse the hunger the desperation for change because the intensity with which you seek reveals the passion the hunger for something and also determines the likelihood that you will receive it there are things that are hidden from you you may be very poor you have beautiful children and a lovely wife or husband so much need to pay bills but it may be hidden from you where the money will come from and you cry and you cry and you cry and you beg and you beg and you beg but it is hidden from you how do i know look at jesus he says for you have done what because you have hidden these things so what are the things that have been hidden from you the question you begin to ask god in prayer from now god what are those things that are hidden from me that i need to know in marriage what are the things that are hidden from me as a result of which i am delayed in getting married in having children in getting a job in living a fulfilled life what are the things that are hidden from me all things get back get back to that scripture because you have hidden these things why will god intentionally the scripture didn't say this that these things are hidden from the wise say you have lord of heaven and earth because you have it means god intentionally hides this is like not very it's not in it does not synchronize it's not in sync with the the nature of god as goodness God, you are all good. So why do you hide these things? These things upon which rest depends. These things upon which wealth depends. These things upon which greatness depends. Why are these things hidden? They are not hidden by the devil. They are not hidden by the angel. They are hidden by you. God, can God answer this question? I think the answer has been given already. Seek and ye shall find somebody saying was instantly coming into my head that those things you light 
you lightly esteem they are of little value to you things you esteem lightly you value little and the things you esteem lightly you trouble not yourself about it the greatest way to show whether you value a thing is how desperate you are in seeking a thing which means the value the, the value the premium that you place upon a thing is measured against the desperation would wish you seek and pursue it god hides the most precious thing of the world is hidden diamond is not found on the surface is found hidden in the depth Crude oil does not flow in a stream. You have to drill. It's important we know that the principle of life, God has made it that way. That very beautiful, great things are hidden. No matter how much you pray, there are things God will hide from you until you obey the law of greatness seek and you shall find because when you seek seriously and you find you treasure you spend the rest of your life treasuring hallelujah Amen. seeking you have hidden these things from the wise the wise here may not necessarily be wisdom in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the standard of god later to the corinthians paul was talking about the foolishness of god is greater than the wisdom what is wise before us is actually foolish before god so wisdom here is human wisdom God has hidden these things from those who are humanly wise. Because you have hidden these things from the wise. And learn it. The word learn it. <laughs> learn it. Learn it. Wise. People can be wise without going to school. Without learning. <laughs> but learn it here. Yeah, these guys have read. They have studied. Professors. They have different levels of academic qualification. If it is not formal informally they have learned and god says i hide these things from you because the learning is not geared towards knowing what god is doing it's about knowing knowing the knowledge of life and the world go to the next verse yes father for this was your good pleasure all things have been committed to me by my father including rest all things who is saying who is talking now who is saying all these things the all things have been committed to me it is absolute you can call it arrogance the pharisees had every reason to be to have issues with jesus jesus created a lot of issues with his pharisees he was speaking in absolute terms nobody had ever done it before he was making claims that were outrageous in blasphemous and he never repented he never he never apologized and at some point he said the only way to deal with this guy we will kill him and his brother said they are looking for you to kill you go and tell that fox Herod, go and tell that fox i'm healing today casting out demons tomorrow and all that this is if the gospel is truth and it is truth we are serving a revolutionist. Somebody who brought revolution upon thinking, upon religion, upon relationship with God. Who made absolute claim 
all things have been when he, let me tell you when it comes to going to god and salvation it is not either a or b so if you meet somebody who speaks in manner of it could be a or b not too sure please don't follow that person there must be absolute claim there must be some kind of a compelling something that imposes something upon you you either accept or reject but there can be no this or that that is jesus and that is salvation all things have been committed to me by my father and the preacher must say all things have been committed to the lord that i preach if you don't have him you don't have it and there's no room for argument so when we're talking about rest rest is not either in jesus or something else rest is only in jesus rest is not in a system rest is in a person the all things life resurrection restoration progress that is lasting in value that leads to eternal life they are committed to me and no one knows the father no one knows the son except the father and no one knows the father except the son and those to whom the son chooses to reveal him not those appointed by men no it is a choice that is god he may choose it you may not like it but he has chosen it those whom he chooses this is where issues are choice saint paul had issues with the other apostles had issues with even the people he preached to because at some point after preaching to the corinthians when he left or to the galatians when he left other people came and preached that paul that you are even talking about did, he didn't even see christ go and read the book the letter to the galatians that is the book that paul defended his apostleship paul was so angry that letter is a letter of anger every letter of saint paul begins with thanksgiving gratitude that was the normal way of writing letters in those days but the letter to the galatians say i am surprised that's the introduction i'm surprised that you are turning away from the gospel from the truth of the gospel because after you have told them about the absoluteness of christ of accepting him to be saved others came and told paul was lying to you you need, need to keep the law of moses and go through the rituals if you don't go through it and be circumcised you cannot be saved and paul said who, who bewitch you who cast a spell upon you no other letter has paul used that those kind of strong words he defended so people will say this poor self the way he's talking he was not there with us he was not there when jesus was in galilee this guy is from tarsus he was not there in jerusalem he was he said get out I, what i do is by revelation because christ chose to reveal it to me even though i am the worst of all sinners but grace has been given to me and this grace has not been in vain rather i have worked harder than every other one he gave the resume of his apostleship in second Corinth, <laughs> and talked about how many times he has been flogged how many times he has been shipwrecked and all that so we're talking about those whom you choose you choose this the son chooses to reveal it is the son who chooses to reveal and if you miss it you miss it he said come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest the next verse take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls two things are said about rest i will give you rest the second one is what you will find rest <laughs> if he has not given you rest you can find rest <laughs> oh i love this word i love this forever Woo! number one thing weary he said come to me all you that all of you who are weary so number one condition for rest you must be weary 
<laughs> Weariness is a condition. What does it mean to be weary? Kapayo or kopayo. Kopayo, Greek word, weary. Kopayo means to toil. Means hard work. It means hard labor. So weary, coming from the Greek word kopayo, weary means to toil. Those who toil, toiling. Those who toil. Mean as in toil. You know what toil in itself is painful. When you say toil, toil is like you're tilling the soil, doing something. Those who, who toil, those who, who are in hard labor, Israel in Egypt, those who work hard, see guys who carry things in motor parts, those who carry things in garages. Those who upload things from, from trucks, Coca-Cola, bags of beans, and they, they will take something and throw. If you cannot hold it, it will crush you. Have you seen them? Yes. Somebody will take a bag of cement, the one who lifts it. And don't take, say, say you sign up for this kind of work. It means you are ready. So it comes, you take, and you throw another person. That's hard work. So that is a toy. Hard work. It changes everything. It makes somebody grow down. There are people who toy. In marriage, the toy is hard work. They work so hard, so stressed to get mar to marry. Not getting married, a lot of people get stressed in the process. But this one I'm talking about toiling to marry. There are people who need to remind their husband that it is 11 p.m. it is time to come home 11 and when they come back at 4 a.m. they say why are you come say, did you remind me <laughs> so you need to stay every day to remind them to come back you need to stay you need to walk fast and pray before they pay half of the school fees of the children i mean you fast for one year before they pay for one term and you see a young woman so stressed and looks like a grandmother. What have you been doing? I've been busy. Working hard to marry. You mean you are not married? No, I am married. I mean business of marrying. That's marriage without rest. I don't know. Does it make sense? Oh, it doesn't make sense because maybe you are laughing. If you don't understand it, there's somebody who understands it though. The people who work hard not even physical you see somebody without doing anything the muscles and the veins are all standing mental emotional stress and just guy says those who toil hard working hard laboring individuals that's number one condition for rest And this is like contradiction. Why? Why? No, 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 no. That's it. without this kind of thing, you don't need rest. That is, this, these are the people that when they meet rest, they do Thanksgiving. There are some people that God blesses them with children. They are they feel ashamed of coming to stand here to testify. So I got no face. Let me tell you: if you have worked hard. If you have labored, if you have toiled, and you desperately needed rest, and suddenly you have one, thunder rain, thunderstorm, lightning, earthquake, you say, No way, somebody must hear this. Because you labored, and this came as rest. Anybody who has been laboring here, your rest is sitting on top of your life. has a plan for that 
now no 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 when god at the beginning said uh, uh, so that you will rest he rested on the last day on the seventh day now you understand just as he's saying will they weary i have a plan for you the plan for you is rest now let's go to the second thing to the second condition burdened so come to me all you who are weary and burdened so burdened burden come from the word fortizo fortizo p-h-o-r-t-i-z-o-z-o fortizo burden it has to do with heavy load being weighed down weary means working hard struggling laboring but this one is weighed down it presses you it is heavy a burden there are there are some issues in life you see a man who comes and sits down you call him he doesn't he doesn't hear you you do like this he doesn't blink something is weighing him down and when he talks he begins to talk nonsense he said remember he's telling you you are here he said no in the hospital where's my wife he said what happened okay sorry my wife has been on the hospital since um <clears throat> you cannot coordinate because of the burden the burden of a young woman carrying a sick husband for tizo a people who carry burden a people who carry burden heavy load raising children alone children they did not impregnate themselves to have they work and labor and they are weighed down now i try to make these things raw so that you relate with it because the greatest problem we feel we sometimes have is making things look harmless addressing dressing wound so that the wound is there but it's covered and trying to be good before god and just as is naming it the way it is that's why i go to the greek word used for the new testament fortizo has to do with carrying heavy load what heavy load are you carrying and god says i'll give you rest this program is sponsored by the covenant friends and partners of grace family global outreach you can be part of this grace revolution by becoming a covenant partner today allow god to use you our account details are as follows Bank Zenit Bank Account name Grace Family Global Outreach Account number 101-42-978-63 For inquiries, please call 081-804-33-225 or 090-738-38742 to all our covenant partners and friends, we say thank you. Like the widow of Zarephath, your oil will never run dry. To order for the books, messages, and other resource materials, please call or send an SMS to 080-660-46346 or 081-804-33225. Videos are also available on YouTube at www.youtube.com forward slash Grace Family Outreach. To stay connected, like us on Facebook at Grace Family Outreach or visit our website at www.gracecommission.org.